I'm gonna do the taste test of all the stuff that I got from the bakery. You can see here we have uh, five different uh, kinds of sweets, I guess that's what you'd call them. Super cheap, all this was 45 pesos. And we even got an extra one over there. We got two of these, so um, yeah, 45 bakery is always very cheap here. And uh, yeah, we've been quite a few times, but I've got a few things here that we've never tried before. Uh, where should we start? <laughs> Pandesal? Yeah, alright. So if you you see this one here, it's called uh, Pandesal. And that's one of the common things that people eat here in the bakery. It's a Spanish name, as you can see, basically means uh, salt bread. Yeah, Pandesal. And in Portuguese, it's almost the same, Pandesal. So it's very similar. Yeah, but I think it's, uh, it's sweet. <laughs> From the other times that we ate it, uh, we noticed that it's not too uh, sugary, but it's not salty. So it's like, uh, I don't know, it's just uh, different. Yeah, to me it's like a mildly sugar bread, but we'll see how this one is. Alright, so Carol can go first. Probably see it's all uh, yellow inside, completely yellow, the bread. Mm -hmm. It's good. I think, I don't know how the Filipinos eat it, but uh, I could eat with uh, butter or even Nutella. <laughs> yeah. I always like this bread. Um, every time we've gone to the ba bakery, I always get this. Pretty much every bakery will always have a uh, pan de sal, so mm -hmm. yeah, I love it. Um, like I said, it's sweet, but not really sweet. No, not really. Like mildly sweet, very tasty though. Next we're gonna try this one, it's another one with um, a Spanish name, it's called pan de coco, which um, I guess would be coconut bread, I think it has coconut in the middle, not sure what this red dot thing is here, but uh, let's open it up, yeah, so if, you, if you look at the insides of that, look at that, it's like um, brown coconut, do you think it's been roasted or something? I think so. Yeah, I'm not sure, but... Interesting color brown. You want to get half? Mm. It's good. I think they definitely mix some sugar as well, right? Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. mix mixture of sugar, coconut. I'm sure, some of you Filipinos will know how it has the brown color. I'm not sure if it's roasted. If you just put like the sugar in the... Brown sugar maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. It's good. Mm. To me this is more tastier than um, than the pan de sal, the previous one. Yeah, because pan de sal is kind of a plain. Yeah, mild. Mm -hmm. This is a strong uh, coconut taste. Mm -hmm. Very delicious though. And again, in Portuguese we have a similar thing and we also call it pão de coco. Yeah. Similar name again. <laughs> yeah, Portuguese is so similar to Spanish, a lot of the names. Now we need to save our appetite for the other ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so the next three, we don't actually know the, the names, but I'm sure you, some of you guys can drop a comment and tell us what it is. So we're gonna try this one here. Um, it's like a hard bread, it's kind of hard. Um, there's some sugar Yeah, a little top. sugar sugar crystals. Uh, I don't think it has anything else, but... Yeah, it's pretty much like uh, just a uh, bread. <laughs> uh, let me eat this. Yeah, I think it's just bread. If you don't have the sugar on top, um, this just tastes like bread, this part. Yeah, I don't know if people spread something like... I don't know... Like margarine or something? Yeah, I don't know. You want to do it with sugar? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's very plain. To me, it almost tastes like a scone. I don't know if you know what a scone is. No. No? Americans and English people will know what a scone is. And um, yeah, this tastes like a scone to me. The bread. Interesting. I prefer the other two though. You? Mm, me too. So the next one is this one. We don't know the name again. Big circle. <laughs> Big circle, yeah, and it's kind of yellowish. Like, um, yeah, yeah, just just like the pan de sal. Yeah. 
and there's also sugar on top. Mm. I think for me it's similar to the taste of a panessa, but with sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something different in that. I think when I asked the lady at the store, she just said uh, it was mainly made like with margarine, uh, bread with a lot of margarine and sugar. That might be how Panda Sal is made though, I'm not sure. Mm. It's pretty good though. I like it. What more? Mm. You want the chocolate? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Have we still have the last one. And the last one is just this, I guess, chocolate bread. I don't think there's anything specifically Filipino about it, but... Chocolate cake? Chocolate, chocolate cake, maybe? A bread, yeah. I think it's cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you want to try that? Oh yeah, I like that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's like a chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I like that the dough is not too heavy, so I don't know, it's soft. Nice yes. and spongy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. There you go. You see? Nice spongy chocolate cake. Yeah, I like this one. Now I'm undecided. I don't know which one I prefer. It's either the the coconut one, pan de coco, or the chocolate bread. Yeah. Maybe the chocolate one. I like chocolate, so. Yeah, it's yeah. hard to choose. But I think I prefer the pan de coco. Pan de coco. Mm -hmm. So that's the end of our taste test. We still have quite a lot of leftovers here. So yeah, we might eat some more now and maybe save some for tomorrow morning. You think it'll still be good? Mm, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Very tasty though. If you come to the Philippines, definitely check out the, the bakeries. Also an awesome place to go for breakfast if you want to save money. Yes, yeah, oh, it's very cheap. We usually go there before like going to a boat tour or something. We just go to the bakery, get get some bread and... Very quick as well, yeah. just take out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright. <laughs>